Hello everybody, welcome back to WWTF, Love the Fantasy Game Show, I'm Mike C. And I'm Fred White. Hey, today we're reviewing Final Fantasy XV. It's been like 10 years to make it to this game. Alright man, it came out on the Xbox One and P4. Mm -hmm. Now before we start talking about it, as always, we like to give it a number of facts. But before we do that, I would like to give a shout out to my main man, Anthony E. Marquez. I know I probably messed your last name up. It's one of my fellow NBL uh, clan mates and... Um, Man, uh, thanks for all the support and everything, but let's get on with the show. Mike, what do you give it? I give it a 5 out of 5, Fred. What do you give this game? I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5, Michael. <sighs> Michael, why do you give Final Fantasy this game? Why do you give Final Fantasy this game? Man, night? this is a Final Fantasy game I've been looking for, man. Um, it's getting back to what Final Fantasy was. I like it that it's not uh, a turn-based strategy. Like... I take a turn, then the enemy take a turn, and all that stuff. I like that it's open world, free to roam. There's tons and tons of things for you to do. It's hours and hours of entertainment. You got you got your characters from Seven up in there. You got Sid up in there, man. It's great. The summonings, man, are excellent, man. Some of the best uh, freaking... Uh, just the summonings is, is like the best I've seen in like ever as far as uh, on the Final Fantasy. So, man, I really think they really took their time with this game, man. I love, there's just a couple things I don't like as far as some of the camera angles and the low screen, but still, I love this game. It's awesome. I recommend it. Fred, why do you give this a, a three rating, which is three meaning average, which is average a C? Why do you give this game a C, Fred? All right, although I haven't played Final Fantasy since the PlayStation 2 when it came with the hard drive, I wasn't a big fan even when it was out on Nintendo. Oh, oh you don't like it? Okay, go ahead. But um, I do like it. Okay, go ahead. Um, but <laughs> actually, uh, the reason why I'm giving it that low score is because of number one, to get the best best graphics, <coughs> you must own a PS uh, Pro, PS4 mm -hmm. Pro, mm -hmm. and an Xbox S, which is cheating out on the people that you know have the day one or the first generation of the next generation consoles. Another reason why is that um, the graphics to me. Like I said, they weren't all there. Um, <clears throat> and another reason why is it comes out in three different packages that you can get. The regular edition, mm -hmm. the deluxe edition, and the ultimate edition where you get a character. But none of those uh, um, um, discs comes with the ability to play online. You'd have to buy an additional DLC content for 25 more bucks to play this game mm -hmm. online. Although I think it's a fun game, and if you're the first, if this is your first time getting into the Final Fantasy franchises, um, this is a great starter for you if you don't know anything about it. But just the ability to not be able to uh, play online without paying for an additional DLC, that to me kind of dropped the score on this thing. Even mm -hmm. if you're paying $200 for that mm -hmm. big box set, right. you still don't get the DLC. Mm -hmm. I mean, the game is, is uh, <clears throat> you have a lot to do. Um, it's really fun, but just coming out of the gate, I wanted to be able to play with three additional friends with this. Mm. And having to buy a DLC for 25 bucks, that's like a stop in my face. Okay. Plus the diminish of the graphics. Now, the graphics look good in the cinematic mode when it's telling the story. Mm. But then when it comes down to actually playing a game, it takes a low res hit to me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I gave it that score. Mm -hmm. All right? But um, <clears throat> I think with all that said and done, it's time for Final Verdict, Mike. <laughs> Mike, <clears throat> Final Verdict. I'm going to ask you a stupid question. I'm buying it, man, because I give it five out of five. Fred is crazy. Awesome game. Go ahead and get it, man. If you're a Final Fantasy lover of Final Fantasy, I think you're going to really like this game. Go get it. Fred. What's your verdict for it? Even though I gave it a low rating, I say get it. It is a real fun game. It's a lot to do. It's a lot to do. But just me with the DLC, the $25 additional DLC, that's just a smack in your face. Mm -hmm. When the game is not 60 bucks as perceived, you got to pay an additional 25 
then even if you get the big box set, which is like 200 some odd bucks, mm -hmm. it's still 225 something bucks. Mm -hmm. I think it's even more than 200 bucks. But to me, that's a that's just a slap in the face to games. Okay. I, I understand where you're coming from. I can't hate on you too much. We do have a show together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so like always, you guys can hit us up at thegamershow.gmail.com. That's the Gamer Show with an A. Don't forget to head on over to the store where you find this as well as other products for a low, low price. And don't forget to hit us up in V-Time. All right, and please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our SteamOS community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. What the facts? Game show. See you next time. Keep on watching. Thanks for tuning in.